Discovering your purpose is something that is unique to each and every one of us and can be really, really tough. I've been exploring this topic for quite some time now and I've learned a few things that I wish I knew sooner. So today I will be sharing three harsh truths with you and evaluate the question, is it even possible to find your purpose? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and I make videos to help people become their authentic self, live intentionally and experience true wealth. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. So let's get started. As you go through different decades of your life, your priorities and your interests will change. What was important to you in your 20s is most likely different to what is important to you in your 30s, 40s, and so on. This evolution often can lead to a reassessment of your purpose and therefore the direction of your life. Even if you don't change for whatever reason, the world around you will. Technology advancement, the financial market, and nature, just to name a few. And to be honest, to me personally, this is the pure beauty of life. When I was a teen, I also bought into the idea I will find my purpose, which will give me maximum stability. And once found, I will be the happiest person on earth. A million years later, or 15, I found this to be wrong. Instead, I did something else, which you will learn about later on in this video, so stay tuned. So ultimately, you don't find your purpose like finding the last unicorn, and then that's it for the rest of your life. Throughout my life, my purpose changed multiple times and my identity with it. So did my values. So for example, in my 20s, I loved going to clubs, buy as many clothes as I could, go to as many rave festivals as possible, travel as much as possible, and meet as many, many new people as possible. So technically I was out and about until late at night, only came home to sleep basically, often only six hours, and only to repeat it the next day. Now I still love going to festivals and also I love to travel still, but I value quality over quantity. And my mom, I know you're watching this, so you would be proud of me saying this because I remember when I was young, she would tell me very, very often to value quality over quantity, but back then I couldn't see it. So thank you, mom. <laughs> And also I see comfort in, in balance rather than extremes. I value being in nature, my eight hours of sleep, intentional spending and saving, balancing social time with alone time to cultivate the relationship also with myself and made my apartment my sanctuary with an attention to detail on what, how and where things are placed. Purpose actually comes from various areas of your life that ultimately create fulfillment. It can be hanging out with your friends or playing with your children or finding purpose in work or pursuing a hobby as you feel extremely good about doing these things. It is very individual and subjective to each and every one of us. Let's assume you put all your eggs in one basket and you really only have one single purpose in life. For example, your relationship with your partner. If this changes one day, you will feel like your life is meaningless and you will experience an existential crisis. Therefore, it is only healthy to get meaning from multiple areas of your life. To provide one example, I learned this the hard way after the breakup with my ex fiance at the age of 19. Being that young, I fully identify with being a fiance and my whole life purpose was finding a husband and spending the rest of my life with him. It was a really tough experience, but I came out so much stronger and wiser. Now I look back on it with a lot of gratitude for the experience and almost awe at having mastered this challenge. It taught me that when you diversify your purpose, similar to an investment, you can fall back on different sources of meaning once certain people or things are gone in life. Even if you have your dream life, there will be some moments where you will hate some aspects of your life once in a while. And that is completely normal. Yes, meaning and purpose can drive you and they definitely give you perspective for overcoming challenges and problems that arise. However, having found your purpose doesn't equal that you will live happily ever after. Don't mistake purpose for some calling that you will wake up in the middle of the night and you know exactly what you're supposed to do or what you're meant to do. Obviously, you will always find an exception to the rule where people have found their purpose early on and stuck with it for the rest of their life. However, I think the majority of people will go through different phases of life, experiencing plenty of changes when it comes to purpose. So purpose won't be the silver bullet that will solve all of your problems and hardships. You might ask yourself now, can I even find purpose? And to me personally, the answer is yes, with a little but. My personal definition of purpose is living life intentionally while turning your challenges into opportunities. 
So understanding yourself, including strengths, weaknesses, values, passion, core skill set and interests is crucial. And I hate to break it to you, but it's like everything in nature, a process flowing and always changing. What has given me a lot of inspiration on this topic is actually the book from Ashley Starr called U-Turn. I really, really enjoyed reading it and I cannot recommend it enough. She suggests that everyone has a core skill set as well as core values and identifying them can help you create purpose. However, I really have problems to determine my core skill set, to be quite honest. Especially thinking about if you don't have that much life experience yet. And people who maybe are in their early 20s will even have less work experience or life experience than I have. And if I have already struggled with it, how will it be for you if you're watching this and you're in your early 20s? So I came to the conclusion that sometimes you need to experience things in order to draw wisdom and learnings from it. What has helped me and is still helping me until this very day is the following. Be brave and start to experiment. Value practical experience over theoretical knowledge as this will bring you closer to your authentic self. Only through personal experience, the good and the bad, you will actually figure out what you value, what you like and what you don't like, what you're good at and what you're not good at. There is no shortcut. As I have pointed out earlier, values and interests are in constant flow. So what I started doing is I do a self-assessment at least every two years and go through the things that I like or don't like, the things I'm good at or not good at and things I want to achieve. Also while doing this, I will determine if I will operate off of fear or inspiration in various aspects of my life. And lastly, use cues of life. For me, it is often feelings, but it can be something completely different for you. For example, negative feelings, they're actually not per se bad, but can be, if used wisely, a guide to lead you to a more meaningful and fulfilled life. Embracing the fact that purpose is connected to reinventing yourself and true meaning comes from being your authentic self rather than trying to meet external standards or expectations has not only given me more peace, but also a clear direction in life. Finding your purpose is a journey and it can be a quite exciting one. I will be making more videos about how you can become your authentic self and live intentionally to support you in your growth. So I hope you found this video helpful and it would mean the world to me if you would give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell as well as the subscribe button and join the community as it grows. So see you next time. Bye.